So Wick's in deep thought here, figuring out. I'm just going to uh, wait. No? Are we going the wrong direction? No, it's more No, because that angle. Yeah, the angle's down there. So that, that sits angle. like that. And this is supposed to sit like this. But yeah. The problem is our little chingadera wants it to sit like this. Which doesn't jive. It's like the slot needs to be over there, but then when you look at this, that slot is that way. Wait. If we loosen, pull these out, I wonder if, if the motor can rotate. Is that our problem? Yeah, but wouldn't that have the same well, effect? Well, that's not going to do anything. It's just going to move the mast, huh? That, that does, yeah. We have to... This makes no sense. So, our chingaderas, our bracket, doesn't jive with our motor, but our motor doesn't jive with the factory diagram. Oh, so much fun, Wick. All the time. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter which way the motor faces. You know, we're not really doing a concourse car here. It's just very confusing to me because this looks exactly like that, but... Have you noticed that... Does that bracket go sideways? I just noticed something. No, that don't, that don't look I mean, right. it looks like it wants to be like that. Oh, well, maybe not. Like that. Maybe it does go 90 degrees. Well, I've just noticed... What did you just notice? See how... Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Your motor. Okay. Yeah. See how it's off to the side? Yeah. Look at this motor. It looks like it comes. And it's square. It's centered. Yeah. That right there could be fucking us on location, too. Yeah, that's absolutely right. It, it almost. It, it could be either sent. Well. It is centered the way it wants to sit in the car. Well, not really, but... But, I mean, the motor shows it's square. Yeah. So even if you went with this bracketry, you know, say it was sitting like that, it's this would be up, up here. Yeah, it's never going to drive. Yeah, because this just seems like it wants to be this way because that just is such a perfect fit right there. Yeah, that's nice. So I say we just go with this. Well, like we have... Let's also verify that and then we have to spin that top. This motor's right too before we go go to town, you know what I mean? It's it's well we're we're going with this motor. <laughs> Wick's Wick's <laughs> calling an audible, he says <laughs> Yeah. Fuck it. We're going with this motor. I don't even see part number on it, but Alright. Um but yeah what uh now what we've got to do will be this is gonna have to get clocked so i'll need that pair of channel locks gotcha. while I'm lying on my back in that hot trunk waking a trunk yeah i i don't i wouldn't have done well like with a gangster um like throw me in the back of a trunk did i just blind you maybe you probably blinded the camera but now the world gets a seat see that's what i get all the time that's what you get wick, wick goes hey look at this and I get this blinded is, by the light. This is pretty funny. I think, where's this ground wire supposed to go? Isn't it supposed to? There should be a stud coming off the shaft. And then a well, screw. that's the antenna. So does it go to one of the screws? Something tells me that this shouldn't be just, it's not going to do much grounding this way. Yeah, just floating about. So. Make sure your ground actually grounds. Mm-hmm. You think it goes behind the bracket? I guess it does. I like how the the connector pictured. Mm-hmm. It's completely different than the connector we actually have. Yeah, that's probably another problem. But you know, what really is gonna matter is what connector we have in the trunk for this. Well our connector looks like that connector, so that's, that's all really good. good. Yeah, look at that. We're too ground. 
What are we looking at here? Oh, that's the ground wire. So I guess it comes the ground off the wire bottom. goes to this clamp. Yes, yeah, so it looks like it gets. Oh, that goes on the. It gets screwed into the gutter. And that goes to one of these holes. Actually, it looks like when you look at the. Oh, all the way up here. Drawing. Yeah. Oh, maybe that's why. Maybe it was up there, and then when we pull, pulled these screws out, which we probably lost by now. No, no, they're in a bag. Oh, they are. Um, in a bag. In that's, the truck. That must be where it's grounded then. Yeah. Yep. They're in a bag in the trunk. Alright. And that's the antenna wire. That centerpiece looks really funky. Kind of funktastic right there. Yeah. I guess it's just like a solder mess. Alright, so the bracket is what the bracket is. So this. It needs to be re there has got to get reclocked, and then um, and these threads look funky. And this this whole deal here got just absolutely boogered to pieces. Um, and then yeah, so we'll clock it, mark it. I'll climb out of the hot claustrophobic trunk, and then we can drill new holes and. Get the angle on the dangle where we want it. Yeah, and then we'll have this tedious project behind us. This is this has been a tedious one. Yeah, it's definitely been one of those things.